Hi man, welcome back. I'm glad you can join another confusion tutorial. Now, as many of you guys know, I have this problem that is called a daily job uh, that eats all of my time and, and really uh, causes me a lot of problems here producing content. So I was thinking, I was thinking, how can I, how can I finally produce more frequently? And I, I came up with the idea that uh, it's actually nothing new, but I thought, hey, what if I split the tutorials, even the short tutorials, into episodes? Yep. Until now, I did it only for the box ring. But I thought, even if it's like a 30 minutes tutorial, why not splitting it up, you know? And let's start the episode, the whole tutorial. Let's start it with a walkthrough. And I didn't do this uh, until now. Uh, a walkthrough that basically, where I basically show what I did without going too much into details. Now, I think if um, just by looking at the walkthrough, uh, you can actually pick up some pretty cool stuff. So um, yeah, if you want to know why I did what I did, um, then you can tune in into my Vimeo channel or if you want to listen to my sexy voice. Hey. Or if you follow me on Facebook, uh, you will get updates if you subscribe to my YouTube channel or if you subscribe to my Vimeo channel or if, and that's the Best case, yay! If you support me on Patreon, you will get all kinds of swag, yay! For example, you can even get the project file. How cool is that? Yeah, you heard it right. You can get this whole file here, this whole project data by supporting me on Patreon. That is also something that will help me to produce more and more content and more frequently, especially. Uh, yeah. Okay, guys, let's dive into this. And uh, I'm going to quickly show you what this is all about. Hey. So now I'm gonna show you uh, what I actually did here. Now with all big projects, um, what I like to do is I like to separate my uh, composition into different sections. And if you watch Le Bucks Ring, then you know what I'm talking about. Hey. So for example, here uh, um, I have a loader section. Oh, it's a very, very tidy loader section, not much in here. <laughs> um, yeah. But the thing is, the loader section is where you put all your loaders. Basically everything that comes outside of Fusion, or in, in my case, I also have the camera that is created in Fusion in here, uh, just for the consistency. Um, just to know that here is my source. Here is where I pick all my stuff, where I can pick all the necessary things that I might need later. But the advantage of having this loader section here instead of, you know, I load a texture and I put it in here. Oh, here I need this texture, so I, load one, I put a loader here, the texture here. The disadvantages of scattering all your footage or loaders inside the flow here is that, let's say you're here and you think, oh, I need a texture that I used yesterday. And then you're starting to search, where did I put that bloody texture? You know, and we just don't want that. I mean, I used to work like that and it's just... It's just so annoying. I mean, you can see I still have loaders here, but this was an exception. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, this is not an excuse. <laughs> uh, this is really just an exception. I mean, you can do the exception because I know this is stuff that I will for sure only need here. Trust me, trust me, man. I'm not lying to you. And uh, uh, whatever. So the cool thing is here, you know exactly your stuff is here. You, whenever you need something, you can go up here, especially if your comp is much bigger than this one, you can navigate to your loader section and you have all your stuff, you copy, and then you move to your area of interest, let me say so, and uh, you paste it in. Ooh, saber, this looks so cool. Mm. Okay, so, but let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Here on the very left, I have the laser object that's the basically it's the the beam here if um let me show you you can see this is the lightsabers uh beam or laser object 